streamers who ruin their lives in seconds. The streaming world is marking its place on becoming one of the most polarizing spaces in the entertainment industry. Yep. We all have our favorite streamers, and if we don't catch them live, well, yep. surely they have a YouTube My favorite streamer's got to be Pokemate Amaranth. You know, you, you know exactly what my type is. Channel where they post their clips and let us see what they're up to. Even though it seems like the easiest job in the world, I mean, who wouldn't want to react to some clips, play video games, grow a community, all while getting paid? Well, the success stories that we see are only the top percent. Some streamers just couldn't fake it till you make it and ended Damn. up ruining their entire lives. We've spoken Damn. about streamers' careers being ruined before, but today yeah. we're going a tier below that. Well, what are we doing? To streamers who ruin their lives in seconds. Damn. Chat, how, do, how would I ruin my life in, on a stream? I would have to do some crazy shit. Like, or, or someone, I don't know. I feel like I would have to murder someone. Hitoshi Yuki, aka Smash God XXX. What do you Real do? name Hitoshi Yuki had a career as a streamer and did what your regular show my meat. Would do. I mean, I could no chat. I could show my meat, and I feel like the worst thing that's gonna happen, y'all gonna make fun of my meat, but I'm not gonna be like, it's not like y'all gonna stop supporting me because y'all see my eight inch penis. You know, fire up the cameras, talk about random things, engage with his audience, and stay entertaining. Things were actually going well for him. His just chatting style in IRL vlogs garnered him about 11,000 subscribers on Twitch, where he would occasionally feature his girlfriend Jess. One day, in March of 2021, Smash God and his girlfriend were live, and they were just doing the usual. Bro, this is what I hate about collectors. Why do you have a box of cereal, dude? If you're not gonna eat that shit, dude, just throw it away, bro chilling he's vaping and jess is on her phone scrolling and typing but then they start arguing and suddenly things take a very wild turn see he wanted to get jess out of the room because he wanted to talk just to the chat for a moment just get out I'll open the door for you. if my significant other said that dude i'm looking at the live replay i'm i'm getting someone to clip it what do you mean there's a what do you got to tell chat that you don't got to tell me you hate me jess please please Leave my stream and me alone. Get out, please. Okay, okay, the stream I get, but leave me alone, dude. Why are you talking about me now? No, I'm not, but I need to talk to chat. Without you here. This is serious. If I want to keep fierce, you gotta go out. Just please. Why are you acting like that? What is he about to do? Why are you acting like that, for real? Chat, what do y'all think he gonna do? Don't come at me like you know everything. I you don't know shit. Like exactly, so keep your mouth shut. He persuades her to leave saying, yo, get out of here for a second. I need to talk to the chat just without you. Just, just get out. I'll open the door for you. Please, please leave my stream and me alone. Now, it seems Jess didn't want to leave because she just sits there ignoring him. He gets annoyed and presses on, even saying, bring me my beer. My beer is right there in the living room, actually. And pausing there for just a moment, that's a really gross thing. I feel like to say during an argument, almost has the vibe of like, women belong in the kitchen. Go get me my beer. Go get me my insert food item here. You see, a man like me would never say such a thing. All right, a 6'3 black man, 8 inch... Weightlifter, bodybuilder, eight figure making a month. Um, would never say that. Women, you you deserve better. Without women, we will never. None of us would be here. Shout out my beautiful women. Um, if you're a woman watching this video, please hit me up. My Instagram is YXOSOLA. Um, I am six three and I have blue eyes. Right now, I'm wearing brown contacts, which is why you're not seeing it because I don't want you guys to like fall in love with me. All right, all right. Four eleven. Cap. My dog bigger than you and he's dead. What the fuck did? just has those vibes. Jess, maybe realizing this response, I'm not your fucking maid. Now, this is when things turn even nastier because Smash God then stands up, turns the camera away from both of them, and we can hear a loud slap in the background. The dude seemingly smacked his girlfriend live on stream. It happens within just a few seconds, but those seconds were enough to get him in big trouble, which he clearly didn't anticipate at the time. The stream cut off and his sister took the camera, but the duo returned after a while. They try to act like nothing happened. 99% Dude, look at her face. What do you mean nothing happened? She looks terrified of this dude, bro. Bro, oh my, bro, I'm, bro, I'm so glad. Like one thing, bro, chat. I'd be like one thing that could ruin the creator is when is when the audience finds out like, oh, this guy's actually a shitty human being in real life. If you're a shitty human being in real life, I don't feel like people should champion you. And I feel like the audience have has more than enough right to be like, fuck you and just leave you. And sure she was being forced to say it was okay however the chat wasn't buying it jess attempted to downplay the situation but people still got riled up it got worse from there as he attempted shifting the blame to her he can be heard saying obviously me and my girls here together all good and shit you caused this it's it's kind of your fault you can't say it's mine i just try to chill obviously me and my girls over here together all good and shit but this is too much like stop 
not making up the stories. It's just it's so annoying. Just don't lie. Can you just don't lie? Easier said than done, huh? Mm. Yeah, it is. You're mad because your girlfriend told you don't lie, dude. Some some people just don't deserve partners, bro. Kind of your fault. Can't say it's mine. I just try to chill. Classic manipulation tactic. You know what's, you know what's your fault though? Mine. You know what's your fault? I just try to chill. That big ass patch in your bald in, in your head, nigga. What you gonna do about that? Can't say it's mine. I just try to chill. Classic manipulation tactic. The good old deflect. The dude allegedly inflicted harm on his partner, then goes ahead and blames her for it. And people saw right through that and decided to give him a piece of their minds. On this mm. YouTube video that has been viewed over 2.7 million times, you can see comments like, if he's bold enough to act like this in front of his fans, then imagine what happens when he's off stream. 314 yeah. made my blood boil. The fact that he blames this whole situation on her is awful. Anyway, Smash God's free fall doesn't stop there. What he happened? actually doubled down. Facing backlash from Reddit and Twitter, he decided to scare people off. First, he tried to get his chat to downvote this Reddit post that captured the entire situation. Then, in a classic internet fail, he tried to send a cease and desist letter to anyone who talked about the situation. He got- You're mad because people have their opinion? Oh, what is he gonna do when I drop this video? You won't. <laughs> Am I gonna receive a note saying, hey, bitch, yeah, nigga? Take that video down, bro. You chop. You don't even deserve a girl. I roasted for the letter's authenticity in return. After all that, he. Chat, y'all better be careful. If y'all are talking shit, y'all gonna get a cease and desist letter. And look at him. Suspended on Twitch. Let's clap it up for that. Got banned from Twitch and tried appealing, but I believe he never got accepted back. For most of his fans, which I'm gonna assume they're not fans anymore, that stream is the last time they ever heard from Smash God. Looking up Smash God on Google or YouTube leads to that event and that event only. I couldn't find his social media links, though those are probably just taken down as well, but mm. this is what he's gonna be known for for the rest of his life. Good Damn. riddance. I'm glad, Stephen bro. McCullough, We're smoking AKA on your pack. Vote Saxon 07. Picture what do this. You do? Stefan is a normal streamer. He puts in the work, you know, as great streamers do. He's a gamer and he loves streaming GTA. Then in August of 2022, things are actually still going great. And Steve, we're gonna call him Steve now, even officially brings a girl into his life, Natalie McNally. So he's doing doing his streaming thing, he has his girlfriend, and to make it even better, they have a baby on the way. Natalie, Damn. who was 32 at the time, was pregnant with Steve's child, and mm. their parents knew about it. Now, I wish the story's ending was that they had a beautiful child and lived happily ever after, but sadly, that's not the case. A few weeks later, things turned really ugly. On the 18th of December, Natalie lost her life in a very cruel way. Earlier that day, she had been at her parents' home in Lurgan, Northern Ireland, hanging out with them, watching the World Cup finals. She then left and arrived at her home in Silverwood, Lurgan, at 7 p.m. as per CCTV footage. At 8 RIP, p.m. Man. that same night, the CCTV captures a man arriving at the same address and leaving at 9.30 p.m. It would later turn out that this is the time frame within which Natalie, who had been 15 weeks pregnant, was fatally stabbed now you're probably wondering oh this was the i remember hearing about this basically that streamer he went live but it's offline like he basically went live but he wasn't there it was a pre-recorded video right and he wanted he did this because he wanted the cops to like oh you know oh i'm not you know i'm not the, i'm not I, I wasn't there because look i was streaming but in reality he killed he killed his own wife bro and the baby bro Wondering where Steve features in the story. Yeah, an well, alibi. He was up to some very suspicious stuff. First, just before Natalie left her parents' home, Steve texted her that he would be live streaming GTA from 6 p.m. and probably through the night. He had planned that live stream in advance and even promoted it on his Twitter with a custom made poster, which read Festive Steamy Goodness Live. Wait, chat, I for some reason my stream labs is frozen, so. Um, hold on. Advance and even promoted it on his Twitter with a custom made poster, which read festive steamy goodness live. First, this is how the live looked like. I can't, I can't, um, I can't, yeah, I can't, um, move my screen for some reason. But yeah, that's how he looks like. Just before Natalie left her parents' home, Steve texted her that he would be live streaming GTA from 6 p.m. and probably through the night. He had planned that live stream in advance and even promoted it on his Twitter with a custom made poster, which read Festive Steamy Goodness Live. So he was live streaming while his girlfriend got murdered. Absolutely not. This dude set up a pre recorded six hour Damn. long GTA live stream. Damn. He used this to use as an alibi because he murdered his pregnant girlfriend. Going back to the live stream, he pre recorded it a week before and mentioned it. And in the there thing is, your chat. It's one thing getting mad at your girlfriend, right? What did the child do? Like, damn, like, you can, I'm not, I'm not saying don't murder anyone, but I'm just saying, like, you're not even gonna give them, is that a spawn kill, nigga? Huh? Spawn trap? He ain't even, he ain't, he ain't even get to live yet, bro.
there, how he was having a difficulty with the chat, obviously so he wouldn't have to respond to the live chats, and said that he put away his phone. So, what are we doing tonight? Well, because this streaming software is kind of up the left, it means I can't check the live chat, which is a real shame. So, by all means, talk amongst yourselves. I could use my phone to dip in every now and again and uh, check it, but Look I've on. decided that I kind of hate live streams where people just sit and read comments and go, Oh my god, yes, ask me questions better. Um, I don't so you hate when streamers are interactive? Nigga, the whole point of streaming is to talk to people. Dude, what do you mean? If anything, your chat, I would, I, as a viewer, I'd be viewing live streams too. I would hate it if, if the person did not interact with his chat. Nigga, that's lame. I don't know, bro. Come on, bro. You could you could have thought of a better lie. Also, if I go on my phone for too long, I'll end up just scrolling through TikTok and the amount of time that I've lost scrolling through TikTok is unbelievable. So, yeah. Phones away. Can't look at the live chat for some bloody reason because if I do, it makes the whole thing freeze and OBS just screws up. Right, yeah, so um, I need to get my anxiety. You never interact with us. I just did right now. Anxiety about whether or not the stream will crash just out of the way, otherwise it will affect the whole bloody thing. But yes, um, if you have questions, comments, opinions, anything like that, tough. <laughs> what, what I want this to be, right, is, do you know like when you used to watch Big Brother back in the day? Yeah. And like E4 had like a, a dude Yapatron. Well, Yapatron playing the game. All right, all good, all good. The fake live stream titled. Ew, Mike dude, is, this got to be one of the worst builds ever, nigga. Are you trying to just try out for Superman, nigga? Nigga, just super fat, dude. This is no. A gaming stream went on for about six hours. Where was Steve from 6 p.m. to midnight? Well, committing the murder. But how was he caught? Thanks to extensive CCTV footage, detectives were able to piece together his movements. They saw a man, the man- Blood, blood is not, what, yo chat, what is he called? Ah, what is it called? Guardians of the Galaxy, what is the nigga called? What is that, what is he called, the main dude? You are not him, bro. You are not a, I don't, what, Star Lord, bro. This is not nigga, di <laughs> nigga, this is, nigga, this is Moon God. What is, what the, you're not Chris Pratt, dude. What is this? The only thing, nigga, the only thing you're a guardian of, nigga, is a fucking, I don't know, nigga. Nigga, uh, uh, McDonald's, a uh, McDonald's, what the fuck, what, a Big Mac meal, dude. Man in the CCTV walked down to a bus stop that's the guardians of the big D's, bro. 7:09 p.m. Disguised in a large hood, a snood, and gloves. The man takes a bus, pays cash, but then drops some coins that he's unable to pick. Due to nigga said Chris Fat. <laughs> The thick gloves. He pulls the gloves off to reveal yellow orange gloves underneath. He lights at Lurgan and the cameras capture him entering Natalie's residence. Neighbors heard a woman screaming during this time. He's captured again, leaving with a backpack, having changed clothing but still disguised. He then takes a taxi that drops him at a home address, his home address, where he comes in and comes back out to pay for the taxi. Then, minutes later, Steve's phone becomes active after being off for hours. Oh, and Natalie's German Shepherd never. He looked like he always taking a deep breath attacked or barked at this man obviously because the dog already knew him so piecing it all together guardian of the calories dude bruh well you know actually no he deserves this They're coupled with intensive forensic evidence on the latex gloves amongst other things detectives were certain that the man in the cctv was steve they believe that steve killed natalie because he found 33 whatsapp messages with another male on her phone there was a lot of other damning evidence against him including shared passwords his access to her phone browsing history hints on the live stream etc but it was the discovery of the fake stream that prompted him to issue a pre-prepared statement were it not for the evidence he might have actually walked away with it and Damn. i think for a moment he actually thought he he got away with it. He went to her wake, he mourned with her family, and Damn. attended a rally in her name for support of ending violence against women. Anyway, Damn. that was the last of Steve's streams, as he'll be going away for good as his- Wait! So you were supporting your wife during that and, and you- Nigga, you committed the same thing she was protesting against? That's ironic. Sentencing is due this month. Are you about to get life, hopefully? Joshua Block, aka World of T-Shirts. Well-known influencer, World of T-Shirts, spends a lot of time live streaming and getting drunk. He's a tour guide and does so for the East Village and North Brooklyn areas. He does what most influencers do, entertain the masses on social media. He used to be pretty good at what he did and amassed quite a fan base. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? National Coffee. Yo, child, how do y'all think he fumbled it? I'm actually very curious, bro. Day. 
His TikTok sits at 2.5 million followers and has over 197 million likes. He also has an Instagram that has over 80,000 followers. The human embodiment of the nerd emoji. Hold on. We got to be twinning after this because ain't no way. I got to, no, no, I got to put on my shades for the rest of this segment right here followers people really seem to like this guy as his comments used to be full of support so glad you're on vacation josh That's what you day it is. josh where is your next adventure we love that you take us with you no need for us to go on vacation now thanks but while some think josh is just living his best life some people who have been his keen followers from back in the day insist that he's on a downward spiral sort of like his career and life are headed for the pits how Damn. so well using this tiktok by noah glenn carter as an example it seems there has been a massive shift in josh's content especially after his arrival in new york well, is this this nigga just yelling at the abyss dude well originally back in 2020 he would share clips of him reviewing coffee drinks and other likable stuff since he got to new york city he has posted thousands of videos of him wandering around and he's almost always drinking and i'm not talking about coffee like here here and here actually fans notice the change in beverage choices and comments like i really wonder how much josh spends on alcohol a year why is he flexing his alcohol wait oh chat how much alcohol do you have to drink for you to die of alcohol poisoning I'm actually curious. And why do people drink? I heard it's nasty and, and people don't like, I, I don't know. Like, how did, I, I, I don't think I'll ever get to it. Like, ever, ever. The guy Plus, knows he's yeah, done I don't for. Yeah, he needs to appear in his videos. Also, allegedly, from this comment here, he used to live with his grandparents who wanted him to get treatment for alcoholism, but he Damn. refused, and that's why he's been rolling solo for a while now. Again, allegedly. Actually, not completely solo, because he's been featuring a guy named Michael Quinn in a lot of his videos, and fans believe that Quinn is a bad influence. You can see in this clip, for example, Josh is discussing almost proudly with Quinn how he vomited all over the place when they were both at the bar. Very that's something to be proud about nigga that's disgusting on all levels I, I, nigga, I don't care if we even win a i don't know uh a soccer man i don't know if we winning in sports i don't care if you drop 30 on them niggas bro vomiting is nasty dude you celebrating a nigga vomiting what type of nigga oh my you want some human centipede shit dude very quickly, likable Josh turned into unpredictable Josh. Rock discusses vomiting all over bars of Michael Quinn's watch. No beauty bar in the East Village. Yeah. I puked all over the place and ran out before the bartender came back. Oh, I was you're with nasty. When that happened. Why are you so happy about it, dude? You're disgusting. That's like, bro. That's like your chat. That's like meat. Nigga talking about yummy. I'd eat it. Yeah, buddy. You, you, you take, you take some time off. You take some time off. Yeah, I don't want to see you throughout this whole video. Um, what was I going to say? Um, that's like me, like, proudly telling y'all niggas, oh, in middle school and high school, nigga, I shit myself in the middle of class. That's not, that's something you keep to yourself. And I puked in my drink, and then I drank it. You saw that? I didn't see that. That's what happened. I love you. Thanks. God bless you. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. Say on God, this nigga getting more hoes than me, bro. Chat, what I gotta drink, nigga? Huh? What I gotta drink? Cause apparently, yeah, this ain't no make no sense. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't. I would never do it. She just kissed me. He got a kiss too. She just fucking kissed me. I'm going to she New just York. Kissed me. What the fuck? I'm gonna fucking report. You know damn well you ain't getting no coochie after this, bro. Nigga, be happy. Nah, I'm just playing. She just fucking kissed me. For a person that wants to report her, you are happy. I'm gonna report her. <laughs> she just kissed a stranger. That's his first kiss. <laughs> Gotta be. And that brings us to his issues, or rather, controversies. In a video, this one here, Josh was filmed stomping on a fish, which he later claimed was dead, and that he was set up. Apparently, the person was not supposed to film him doing it. Ew. Some people, of course, took offense to this despite Ew. his No, he's not in right. Clip also, you can see that he's holding alcohol. And this relationship he has with alcohol seems to he's be a not source of right. other mishaps. For instance, how he has been accused of saying racial slurs. Anyway, based on the information going around, and he's he racist? Is witnessing a man losing his career and or life in a rather terrible way. From what I've seen, many people have reached out to help, but to no avail. I hope this man gets the help he needs because he's obviously going through something and Drinking seems to be his coping mechanism. Dude. Josh, if you're seeing he's this, not, please no. get help. You seem to have a community that really cares about you. Oh, you're not Joe canceled Ortega, yet? Ortega, aka Joe Ortega. Hey, that's the second. Wait, hold on, are you related to Jenna by any chance? I just, I just need you to put in a good word, bro. 
I don't know. Hey, I don't care if you murdered someone. Just put in a good word for jail. I just that's all I want. Joe that's all Daddy I want, bro. Underscore five oh five. Next up is a guy who just like Smash God left his camera on, revealing his ugly side. Known to his fans as Joe Daddy five oh five, this guy did one of the dumbest things on camera, and it cost him his entire career. This Damn. happened back in twenty sixteen when Joe was heard assaulting his girlfriend live on stream. In the extensive clip that goes on for about five minutes, what happened? The girlfriend screaming and crying, and there's a commotion that sounds like a physical altercation. I'm not gonna share the clip here due to its sensitive nature. It turns out, as reported by the Daily Mail, that Joe had both physically and sexually assaulted the woman. As more mm. details were revealed, it became clear that he had been playing NBA 2K16 on his PlayStation 4, and after the stream ended, he forgot to turn off his audio, hence capturing the incident. It's unclear, however, what, was what the, the incident argument was about, but I don't think that matters. For the most part, it sounds like the woman is trying to defend herself, even saying, get off of me, as Joe keeps shouting just, just because profanities at her. She can just because your ass lost that 2K, now you think you could beat women just because you got beat on? Dude, stop. I just would do do it. I don't know, bro. Some niggas, I don't know. You don't. Des some people just don't deserve girls, bro. I feel like we need a new like law or some shit that just bans niggas from getting girlfriends. Become gay. No, don't even become gay because you, you gonna treat men wrong too. Matter of fact, ban them from having relationships. You can also be heard saying that she was gonna call the police. The style of videos you watch are darker than you. You see, this is the last dark video I ever watched. And Joe's response is some vulgarity I'm not gonna include in this video. At some point, the woman seems to shout, You're being me. And at no point does the argument calm down. He was really bent on attacking. Oh no, after that, no. Get the pitchfork, sharpen the pitchforks. We're coming to you, Joe, Joe Ortega. The hell? Her the whole time, and I can't even count how many times he used the word whore. I actually went through the transcribed version of the conversation on Reddit, and huh? interestingly, at one point, he says, What'd you say to your doctor, bruh? Which I have no context for. But then at some other point, he accuses her of having sex with a lot of people. Soon after, the internet found out. It could either mean someone got STDs or this nigga is addicted to our wording and he's he's weird. Lock him up. Lock him up. Oh, and what can I say? No one was a fan of this dude. Now, you would think that Joe was arrested, right? Well, wrong. The police, Valencia County deputies, said that they wouldn't take action because an audio recording isn't enough evidence. There has to be a victim who comes forward. Damn. And so after the incident, Joe went online and made this post, trying to blame his actions on alcohol and his father recently passing away. However, Look, the thing is, what I don't get with people is they want to tell people these things right after they did a mistake. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, that'll, like, that'll make it okay. Like, no. Like, yes. We start, we, like, you know, we feel bad that your dad died, but the, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful to the person you lose when you use them as a, scapefo a scapegoat for being an ass dude. Like, uh, that's the last thing I would want. If, God forbid, if any of my, my family members ever were to pass, right? I'm not going to be like, ah, oh, because they passed the way I've been acting different. So, they, 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 what? I don't know, bro. If anything, act better. No one would hear any of it. He got banned from Twitch, and I think realizing he was done for, he deleted his social media accounts. Twitch, Damn. when asked about Joe's case by Engadget, said they do not comment on policy violations. They also clarified that if they suspect that a user on the platform is in imminent physical harm or harm to others, they would share such details with law enforcement, but only enough information to allow officers to ascertain the threats. Anyway, this was the last that Joe's fans ever heard of him, and it seemed his career and life were ruined due to this event. Aqua Ladora, picture this. You're sitting at your desk, watching a random Twitch stream where a host and three guests are just discussing their lives and random experiences. What the happened? host asks, what's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? A seemingly harmless question, but one of the girls on the stream says that she killed a dog on purpose. Let's talk about it. Nigga, your child, I'm not gonna lie, this is... Wait, is it the girl on the bottom or the girl on the- I hope it's the girl on the left because the one below me, she kind of bad. But that's besides the point. Um, no, no, I hope it's no one. Do not kill a dog, but this sounds like some shit my viewers would say, bro. Now, on Raji Patel's stream over five years ago, when he hosted Simone Scott, popularly known as Aqua or Aqua Ladora, and two was other her. girls, Jenna and FT Bella, Yo. this caused a lot of commotion. In the stream, Aqua's response to the question was that when she used to work as a veterinary technician, she basically knowingly killed a person's dog. She specifically says, I once killed a person's dog on purpose. Raji and the other guests are stunned by the answer, and he- I would've kicked her ass out immediately kick her ass out. what that is so weird seeks to clarify what she just and said. especially knowing that she's able to help it by asking on purpose she casually says yeah but no one knows because you know 
professional. He pushes her to say it was an accident, but the words were already out and they would cause a massive stir in the gaming community. And I mean, just any community in general. What about you, Aqua? What's the worst thing that you've ever done to somebody? Cam up in the in the tiny yeah. chat, by the way, when you're in. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's um, well, I used to I used to work as a veterinary technician, so I I uh, once oh. killed someone's dog. Oh, and I... dude, bro, go to like what convinced you to say that? You're not even making no money. Like I don't even think OnlyFans existed during this. Like, what are you trying to sell? You're so weird. I... Glow on purpose. Yeah, but no one knew because you know. Oh she's, my! Bro, she she sounds serious too, bro. Oh, oh bro. no! Just, oh mean, my God, that's really bad. I'm gonna pretend like you didn't say that. Um, just say it was an accident. That is. It was. Even the girl on the corner, she's like, "What the fuck?" That it was an accident. Oh actually. my God, Scotian, thank you for the four dollar and twenty cent donation. Her justification? Well, she says that the owner was a really bad person. I think it's just weird how like she thinks. She so you want to take it out on the dog? He's so quirky saying it. She was so calm and like, yeah, that's like that's so cool. No, bro, what the fuck was that? Are you going just going? What the fuck? And apparently there was a second clip where she added more details. Polygon reports that she said the dog was pretty shitty too. Anyway, the first video was shared on Twitter by Dion Anderson, a popular game dev and show host, and it elicited lots of reactions. The tweet mm. got comments like, I mean, girl, you gotta be a whole other kind of evil to just nonchalantly no, go exactly. on about some shit like this. Hope there's some sort of legal investigation and punishment on this unruly wench the story also got to reddit and, and another thing i don't bro if anything your chat it, it, it's like a doctor saying i killed my patient on purpose nigga i'm sorry like so same same logic with a with a vet i'm not putting my pet near that woman and the comments night, were even bro. harsher. Good night. Reggie also shared his thoughts on the encounter on Twitter, saying that he did not condone animal abuse and would not invite her to his platform again. In the tweet, he explained, I'm really upset about it and can't believe anybody would have the capacity to do something like that. Also, I think just to be sure he was on the right side of controversy, he said he would donate the $600 raised from the live stream to a nonprofit animal welfare organization called Best Friends. Aqua, mm. on the other hand, said she was just trolling and thought the community would understand. So funny, dude. You got us. You really got us, man. She pulled the classic. I killed a dog joke that we all know and love. That's not even is the thing is usually when some people say some shit, the whole point is to laugh, right? You gotta laugh when you're saying that. It's, it's, it was funny about that. Man, I love that joke. Which I personally think she made up the fact that it was a joke. Uh, but anyway, fuck this person. Let's head on to the next one. Stanislav Reshetnyak, aka Trash Vlogger Reflay. Back in 2020, a oh I know about this, so I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna just end it here. Basically, what he did. He left his girl out to freeze um, in the cold and he and he beat her up and she died. She died. And also they paid her. They paid him to stream the hospital. Um, yeah, yeah, she died. She died. He basically filmed a girl's death. Yeah. And also they told him, hey, don't end stream. They wanted to see him crying. They paid him. And they were like, oh, yeah, I, we also want to see the medic saving this. Try to save this girl. So, yeah, he's just a sick dude. Go to hell, dude. You don't deserve, you don't deserve life. Um, but yeah. Anyways, YouTube, that does include that video. Join us on Discord, catch us on Twitch, all that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love y'all, and peace.